How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Okay, so this time we are going to be talking about signature styles. Um, most specifically my own signature style since, you know, it's kind of what I know the best. So what am I talking about when I'm referring to signature styles? Um, Essentially, I'm talking about the style under which a writer usually writes, uh, the sort of identifying markers within their, their writing, the things that they, they do, whether it's tropes that they always use or locations that they always use or types of characters that they always use, those kind of, of things that kind of let the reader sort of identify that this, this is something that has been written by this particular author. Even if they're like picking it up and just like reading a chapter out of absolutely nowhere um, and they don't know who it's by, there are little details, little things within a person's writing which kind of identify that that is the person who's, who's written it and, or wrote it. Um, let's use proper grammar here. <laughs> um, from what I can identify of my own signature style, um, Certainly, pretty much everything I write is set within my multiverse that I have spent a lot of time discussing with you guys. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, so that is definitely part of my of my style of, of how I go about writing things. It's something that I'm always thinking about and considering, you know, what is this particular story's place within the greater scheme, the grander scheme of the multiverse that I'm writing. How does it fit in? Um, you know, what bits and aspects of the multiverse am I including? What rules am I looking out for? Um, important details. Am I having to remember what, you know, is that and the other? So, yeah, the, the, the fact that it's set somewhere within the multiverse is definitely a part of my signature style. Um, you know, in, in the same way that, you know, certain writers might always, you know, have stories set in a particular town or a particular... Um, location or a particular country or or whatever might not be set within the multiverse um even even things that aren't obviously set within the multiverse i probably considered the multiverse in regards to them at some point or some stage in their development and i have an idea of where they fit in even if i haven't specifically stated oh this is this is this and this is where it is and, and stuff like that so i think <clears throat> in those sorts of, sorts of terms because i'm aware of it as I'm writing, everything that I'm, I write is sort of connected to the multiverse. The multiverse itself is definitely a part of my signature style. Um, so sort of something that I mentioned when I was talking about my evolution as a writer, something that is definitely a part of my style now, and something that I like doing as part of my style is if I have a character speak and say a bit of dialogue, um, although I, I mark out the dialogue and I tend to use um, I don't use speech marks, that is definitely a part of my style, I use inverted commas instead of speech marks, which is, stylistically, I, I like the way it looks on a page a lot better, and it is something that you do find writers do do, um, not all the time, they're, you know, they're, they're sort of a lot more leaning towards the whole speech mark thing, but I definitely prefer the inverted comma look, it's cleaner, it's, you know, I start, I think, in some ways, and yeah, it can get a bit confusing when you're sort of dropping off letters and using it to sort of show a missing letter, um, as I was finding when, when working my way through Hyena Boy, but I still prefer the way it looks. It, for me, it's a clean look, so it, it, for me, it's part of, of my style, it's part of how I write. Um, <clears throat> but on the point that I was actually going to make, um, if I have a character speak and, and have their little bit of dialogue, I don't follow that with he said or she said or the character said, you know, whatever the character's name is, um, or whatever. I, I don't use said. Um, I don't use told anymore. I try to avoid replied if I can. I instead tell you how the character is saying it, tell you what the character is doing when they're saying it. So. I might say they laughed, um, or I might go into what they're, as I said, what they're doing, they, you know, 
um I, I, I occasionally said as they spoke, or I'll, yeah, <laughs> as they spoke is as close as I'll get to said. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I might sort of like say what the tone of their voice is like. So um, their voice was this out or the other. And again, it's, I, I prefer the way it flows better when you take out said, <laughs> when, when you take out those very specific you, you know somebody is speaking <laughs> you know this is a bit of dialogue <laughs> why am i reiterating that it's a bit of dialogue and there's nothing wrong with using it and i did used to use it when i was going through high in a way i did spend time having to take out and rework and find new ways of doing those bits so that it adhered to how i prefer to write now compared to you know what I did then but I just for me it's just it's again it's to do the same thing with this you know using inverted commas instead of speech marks it's cleaner looking uh it, it's a cleaner feel to it um for somebody who's sort of trying to be very visual and 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 sort of how they they write having these little jarring things I you know when I can avoid them I, I do avoid them so again that sort of makes up a part of my style and I, I think that sort of so I've been like told in the past that my style is somehow sort of anime manga-esque even though obviously I'm not <laughs> I'm not an anime writer and I'm not uh, doing a piece of manga um, but I think that sort of comes from the fact that I do clear out a lot of this this clutter and I go for this alternatively very visual um, kind of, of way of doing it. And as I said, it, it makes up a part of the style that I write in and makes up, you know, the way I like to present my work now. Um, and as I said, it's, it's, you know, it's been part of the evolution and, and you know, part of the, the ways I've sort of changed as a writer and as I've developed my own style and my own style is going to continue to develop, who knows, in 20 years from now, I might be putting those things back in because I'll be like, oh, what crazy things was I thinking? I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I quite like the clean, cleaner, clutterless, clutterer, less look. <laughs> um, having said that, I do clutter my words in other areas. Um, so it's not like, you know, I'm... I'm not, I'm not as clean as a writer as I could be because I will use extra words here and there probably when I don't need them but again it's part of my style it's like um when when I sort of like do certain scenes certain like opening scenes of things and prologue type scenes of, of things that I write where you don't know who it is um i i do like writing scenes and, and, I, and I will sometimes like hold off quite a while before revealing what character it is um if i if i'm you know writing a scene and i do like doing that um i like the sort of the, the mystery the sort of sense of you don't quite know what's going on and i think that comes from having that slight inclination towards writing darker things is that you like the sense of shadows you want things to sort of feel like they're in shadows even though they're not in shadows um if that makes sense so sometimes having that sort of hidden identity or you know even if it's not 100 percent needed um i i like sort of, of of having that and it does form part of my style this the stylistic thing that i do choose to do in some people don't seem to get that <laughs> um, and and view that as being kind of an issue, but I, I don't. I think it, it is part of my style, but I will occasionally not name a character with an entire scene and just leave it to context clues for you to work it out because there should always be the context clues there to work it out and that. there's that dog again. It's been a while, so I'm just going to ignore it, but there, there it is again. Um, so yeah, no, it, it's, uh, I don't know if there's anybody out there at the moment I can directly compare my writing to. When I'm sort of in writer mode, I do tend to try to 
blanket myself off from other writers as much as possible or at least other writers in the same genre or the same style that I'm writing as much as possible because um, it can be very very easy to sort of take aspects of other people's style and sort of fit it into your own work without you kind of noticing um, and I like to sort of I, I yes it does inform your own style and yes it can improve your own style um, you know but if you are too heavily influenced by it um it can sort of muddy your own style a little bit and you know i i like my own style i like my own sense of style i don't mind occasionally having you know little bits of other things sort of floating in especially if i'm cross genre writing anyway because it can help with that juxtaposition and help with that sort of sense that there are two or more genres sort of being fused together a little bit but yeah at the same time you know I, I feel that not reading other work when I'm writing a particular type of story not writing other works of that particular genre whilst writing a particular type of story helps me focus on my own style within that story and make sure that the elements that make my writing my writing come through as as cleanly and clearly as as possible um and then in between times you know reading various other things and, and getting inspired in various other ways because you know inspiration comes from from wherever and, and and however and i think one of the reasons i quite like reading manga is because it doesn't influence my style in the same way that reading normal literature <laughs> it would because it, there is that visual element to it so you're not getting all the the uh narration kind of stuff going on in, in quite the same way it's it's always dialogue or character perspective or, or sound sound effects um so you're not getting that that sort of narration going on it's a narration bit that i find tends to influence me more than anything else so I do read a lot of manga because I get the story, I get the, you know, the sense of character and, and stuff like that, but it doesn't have the same impact on my work, or maybe it has more impact on my work, considering my style is apparently manga work. <laughs> um, but you know, you, I am hoping you kind of get what, what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. Um, that dog is really rather annoying and a little bit distracting. Um, I apologise for that if you guys can hear it, and I imagine you can because this camera is much better at picking up sound than the previous one was, and the previous one could pick up that dog. So, um, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I think I'm not sure what else I can really say. As I said, this is more of an expansion of the how I've changed as a writer one, but more sort of, I'm hoping, giving you guys an idea of my style and maybe that informs you as to whether or not it's something you might be interested in. As always, link to my fanfic, the, the Tale Saga, in the description below. If you are at all curious about my style, go check that out because that's free. You can read me for free. Read the Tale Saga. I love the Tale Saga. It's awesome. Read it. <laughs> and if you know you want to take more of a chance on me, the link to um to all the various copies of Echo um or oh not the various copies the versions of Echo the the ebook and the paperback again in the description below. Choose your site of choice for how you want to get it. And remember that the paperback is uh. <laughs> The, the paperback is print on demand, so please ignore Amazon. Just buy it, it will be in stock, I promise, it will be. Um, anyway, so with that in mind, I will say what I'm going to be doing next time. So what am I going to be doing next time? I think next time I want to talk a little bit about child characters and writing child characters and the ways in which I tend to write child characters, um, just reasons, <laughs> just reasons. I think somebody put the idea in my head, um, at some point, probably, probably my dear, dear Jade, uh, probably put it in my head, but I should talk about how I write child characters. Um, anyway, so next time, child characters, I hope 
this one has sort of been kind of interesting and I know it's been a bit babbly but you know me by now sometimes these are a bit bubbly and unfocused <laughs> or overly focused or oddly focused um and sometimes they have dog uh, <laughs> it's gone quiet for a minute as well so that's great uh anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this one and i will see you next time see ya if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya